Oxygen therapy. Oxygen therapy denotes the delivery of high concentration of oxygen into the respiratory system to increase the oxygen levels in the blood so that more oxygen reaches at tissue level. Actually, oxygen therapy increases the amount of oxygen that your lungs receive and deliver to your blood. Did you know that actually why veterinarians use that oxygen therapy? Actually, oxygen therapy can be used uh, in a vet service to supplement the air that an animal breathes, particularly with dogs, cats, and other pets. This life-saving therapy allows oxygen to diffuse into tissues at a distance three to four times further than usual to promote healing after making a difference between life and death. Oxygen therapy increases the fraction of inspired oxygen delivered to the alveoli. Indication of oxygen therapy, hypoxia and hypoxemia. When to institute oxygen supplementation, clinical signs, nasal flaring, pallor of mucous membrane, cyanosis, panting, irregular chest wall, movements, etc etc and the requirement require immediate supplementation of oxygen quantitatively oxygen should be provided to any patient with saturation of oxygen or pulse oximetry reading of less than 93 percent or with an arterial arterial partial pressure of oxygen of less than 80 mmhg uh, methods of oxygen therapy Actually, oxygen therapy has uh, so many methods. The main methods are they are like actually uh, oxygen therapy is often used when a pet is bored in and is having breath difficulties. Using compressed oxygen stored in a portable tank, an increased amount of oxygen is delivered, allowing the animal to be stabilized for test, surgery, or healing. Uh, while the, there is actually several methods, like two main methods, non-invasive method an invasive method which is where there are several different ways of providing oxygen therapy to animals they all have one thing in common for bats don't stress out the patient when stressed an animal that is already short or breath could be pushed into crisis mode with this in mind option for stress free oxygen delivery must be included non-invasive method of oxygen therapy this method is readily available in most emergency clinics. Administration of ventilator support without using an invasive artificial airway tube like endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube. Non-invasive methods of oxygen therapy flow by oxygen. Actually, this allows oxygen to flow from a delivery pipe into the air space close to the animal nose. This is a top choice for patients who are extremely stressed. Then face mask, a face mask can be attached to an oxygen source for delivery of higher oxygen compared to the flow by oxygen. Um, actually, this is a close fitting mask is held over the animal face or muzzle. Oxygen collar, uh, an oxygen hood can be constructed using an Elizabeth uh, collar, which we know everyone. And covering the opening of 75 to 90 percent with clear plastic wrap then oxygen cage stress-free method of oxygen supplementation mm. rather than this uh, there is also more method like oxygen mask oxygen tent oxygen chamber also we can use like uh, show the picture the flow by oxygen here is the right side face mask and oxygen hood or collar actually it's elizabeth collar then oxygen case yes oxygen case and uh, some more invasive methods of oxygen therapy nasal oxygen prolongs are widely used in human medicine nasal oxygen catheters best method among all the invasive methods is the is it inexpensive technically easy to place and also well tolerated by the patient oxygen catheters are available in various diameters and lengths actually in investment what when the actual animal is unconscious or under anesthesia then that time we actually use that invasive methods of oxygen therapy then transtracheal oxygenation this 
technique is used in patient intolerance to nasal oxygen delivery like patient suffering from upper airway obstruction uh, the nasal oxygen prolongs nasal oxygen catheters and transtracheal oxygenation process actually why we use that oxygen therapy actually the benefits what is the benefits this oxygen therapy can be life-saving for the pets and is an essential treatment to many situations but in the long term oxygen toxicity can occur if an animal is exposed to high concentration of oxygen for several days this is why most animals who receive oxygen therapy only do so for a few hours by which time medication have started to work and the main issue has been addressed a short term treatment oxygen therapy is beneficial to pets like uh, to stabilize them faster healing calming effects reduce swelling post surgery uh, recovery and treatment for smoke inhalation and carbon monoxide toxicity actually for many people their pets are everything their life their life their life side by side when them and treat them like family members so being able to provide a sick pet with essential oxygen therapy can be very helpful and as much appreciated in the longer thank you